So the fighting machine stuff is coming on pretty well. The, the individual pieces are cleaning up quite nicely. But I've gone back and had a bit of a look at the leg assembly for what I initially had in mind. And I think I'm going to end up recasting these pieces. If you have a look at that position there in terms of the way I've currently got it set, if you think about the body being down in this section, that's going to leave the legs really quite widely splayed out. And I want to have it posed in a more of a high standing sort of position. So I need to bring this angle sort of back down this way. Mostly so that I've got a smaller footprint area on the ground so that's not taking up a huge amount of space and also because I want to have the overall height of the figure looking a bit taller rather than shorter. Um, I haven't quite worked out the angle in terms of where I want to go yet so I'm going to go and have a bit more of a look over my reference pictures to see if I can find the, the sort of the best sort of pose that I can get it in. I've pretty much decided that there's not going to be any movements in these joints which is why I want to make sure that I've got this set just the way I want it but I'll definitely be setting up a ball joint attachment for the feet so there will be some sort of rotation in that and that means that it should self level pretty easily and I'll be able to position the feet a little bit in terms of where I want them placed. The top section though where it attaches to the body which is this piece uh, again I think we'll have a ball joint area on that and the body effectively sort of will hang from that ball joint section so it may be possible to sort of set it up in such a way that I can get some forwards and backwards movements and possibly some inside and outside movement just by the manipulation of the joint that's on the body section which may give me a little bit of posability in terms of the position of the legs without the need of putting a working hinge in this elbow piece. It's too wet outside to get any casting done today so I'm going to look at getting this adjusted to what I think is a better position. So after having a look at the pictures that I've got in terms of reference for this I think one of the biggest determining factors I want to go for is less about the angle of this leg and more about the height in relation to the joint in relation to the body and from the ones that I can see that I particularly like the look of this joint sits just above the height of the body in what I'm calling the correct position so to not have the leg splayed out that way but still have that sort of correct position that way I need to bring the leg in that way which means that bit has to come down pretty much touch that corner so that should pretty much get it okay because the next round of casting is going to be more about small items rather than large ones I want to try and get all three of these pieces made up at once and because I've only got the one pattern piece I'm going to use my mold putty technique for this one and there'll be a link in the description for that video if you don't know what that's about but this should allow me to get three molds prepped from the one piece and sort of sitting there ready to be used once the weather finds up a little bit So they're sitting there ready to go now once I do fire up the furnace. I'll give them a bit of a preheat and then I'll be able to pour in the metal. So anyway guys, that'll be the update for this time. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.